Hello, uh, it's Woodsy here again in Woodsy's Woodshop and uh, a bit sweaty. This is um, boot rack part three, I think. Um, a bit sweaty because I've been doing some off camera prep. So what I have is my two side pieces. Okay, so I cut some lengths. Uh, hopefully the length is wide. So this is gonna be my boot rack. It's gonna be the top shelf. Okay, probably that way up. Yeah, and then this is going to be on here, like this, or is it going to sit like that? It might sit like that, mightn't it? And then that's going to be nicely shaped, nice and shape, nice shape there. And then at the back there is where this bit fits in. And that's your boot rack. So it's going to be something like. There's your boot rack. Might be like that, might it? Yeah, that's more like it. And there's your boot rack. Yeah, I can raise that up slightly if I need to. I can have it there. That might work a bit nicer. Um, that's the plan, Stan. So this needs to be cut to length. This piece. Needs to be cut to length, these need to be tidied up. But I think. Yeah. Oh dear. That needs to be trimmed as well. So I've got some precision cutting to do. And um, I'll trim that off to neaten that end. That end needs neatening as well. How do you. I, I don't know how to properly neaten and square off that end. I've heard of shoot, I've, I'm, well, I've heard of shooting boards. I've got a shooting board. I don't think it's very good because obviously I made it myself. Where's my shooting board? Is this it? No, that's not it. Where's my shooting board? Here it is, it's underneath this cardboard. So here's a shooting board. So that goes in, can you see this? That goes in like this to hold it still. There we are. And then things shoot along there, and that's supposed to give me 90. Except I've lost a bit of my shooting board. Here it is. So that goes in there, you see. And then I can take that bit out. And then I can put that in there. Well, that's the idea anyway, except of course that's not working. Because I haven't got enough room. Um, okay, so I have to use it not, not clamped, which might still be okay. So I've got to have that there like that. Something under there to support it. <coughs> there, and then I shoot that along there, do I? Is that what I do? Okay, let's try a little bit of shooting then. Okay, let's trim that off then. Um, what's the best way to do this? Probably with my miter saw, tenon saw, miter saw, whatever this one is. It's a finer cut. Just adjust you slightly. So I've got to cut that off. So let's move. Well done, shooting board. I'm in for the shooting board. Let's pop that over there. Um, da, 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 da. That's there. That's there. Can you 
see all right? Yes, I think you can. Okay, so I've got to draw, get a line there. So that's going to be a proper line with a nice big long square. So I use this big square. Oh, careful! Don't go too far. Just check that that is properly square. <laughs> not square. That square is not square enough. It's a Stanley. I guess it's a bit rubbish. Uh, let's use this one then. And I've got my nice precision pencil. Well, I just want to take a little bit off the edge. But I've got to have enough to saw through, so let's give it that. Either side of the vice. Do you know what I could do? I could actually wedge it in. I don't need to. I don't need to. Uh, right, steel wool. I did get hot from my planing, but uh, I'm cooling down now. Steel wool. Scary knife. Oh. <laughs> and let's. We're doing a steel wool so I can. Get the whole length in one go and the idea is first pass very gentle second pass a bit more third pass now i'm in okay and i can go mark that mark that i think that's probably actually that's no because I'm cutting, I'm doing my knife fall so I get a clean edge, so I do have to go all the way around. Oops. So you're right, so what I'll do is I'll knife all that, I'll trim that off, give it a shoot, then um, I'm gonna cut this to length. I'm gonna cut this to the right length, which is about there. I've got a little bit of Playants. Actually, I don't. Actually, that's a nice edge there. Ah, look. I don't cut there. I cut further in because it has to match that. Oh, I see. Right. Let's take these out. See? I need to get it wrong again. Let's knife all this measurement because this is the original length. all the way around here so knife in and then square up to the knife one two three and then we go knife in a bit it's kind of there really mm. that's a bit bad a bit bad so not completely square this but um never mind and then if I do this I think get that perfectly oh, it's also not flat never mind rustic in it now I can. Oh no, I'll do it this end. Do it this end. And then I can go off here, drop a line down. Do 
get the exact right length for that. Set that aside. There's my length there, you see? So, I can go glasses on. I'm a new glasses wearer and I don't really wear them that often. Again, not completely square, that's that's two or three mils out. What do I do about that? That's square, not square, maybe? Anyway. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna do then. So a few knife bit of knife walling, cut that, so then I'll cut that. So two cuts. Then I've got to cut my dowels, so I'll be doing a bit more of these, and I'm going to shoot these to make sure they're square on the bottom, um, and then I might come back to you. Might come back to you, but the rest of it's going to be. Oh, this is all damp. Ugh. Getting cold now. Uh, right. Yes. So I'll switch over to time lapse mode, and uh, we'll do all that business. Okay. See you on the other side, team.
you put my shooting ball on the wall. Always thinking. All right. Shooting was going, going well, I thought. Good shooting. Um, that's all squared up. They're all squared up. Did you see my lovely technique for squaring this up? I've got my stick of dynamite, sticks of dynamite here, because um, I wanted to get them all the same length. And you know, that is pretty darn good. Happy with that. They're all the same length. Good enough, certainly good enough for a boot rack within a couple of mil. Now, <clears throat> I don't need to cut that end off of here. Hopefully you can see this. Yeah, so I don't need to cut the end off here because I'm going to do something like, it's going to come down here. So it's got to start there, so it's going to come down and then kind of in, in, round and like that. So I need some circles. I think the biggest one, oh no, I've got paint pots there. Let's have a look, see. Oh, that's too small. I'm just using paint tins, I think. Here's one. Old paint tins. So that's going to go, no, that's too small as well. Bigger paint tin required. Mm. So I'm marking on the paint tin because I need to be able to duplicate this pattern on the other one. I thought about cutting them both at once. I don't have a jigsaw though. That's the problem. I don't have a jigsaw. So anyway, I've marked that at the top and I'm going to go in there like that to there. What do you think? It could even be bigger, couldn't it? I don't think I've got a bigger paint tin. Oh, I've got a bucket. Mm, don't want to use that, it's a bit, bit dirty. What if I do, and then go to there. Do something like that. What I know, what you do, you cut one and then you use that as a stencil. Duh, Andrew. I think that second line does it. So not that one, but the inside line, this one. Is that a nice line? And that'll sit. Sit on there, won't it? And then that'll go about there. Yeah, that works. I think that works. We'll go with that. Oh, whoops. Ow. <laughs> One accident leads to another. Now, how do I cut that out without a jigsaw?
I'm going to get as close as I can with the power saw and then chisel, 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 chisel. That's what I'm going to do and shape. A jigsaw would be ideal, but I've already bought one power tool, my drill press on this project, so I'm not buying another one. Um, so I'm just going to power saw that off. I'm going to do that over there on the old um, my hat on. I've got hot, took my hat off. I'm going to do it on the old thing. Eye protection, yes. Ear protection, yes. Bring this up. go so I should be able to knock that out with a hammer okay let's move you out of the way uh, come back around. There we go. so should be able to knock there they go and these are a bit big There we go. So the rest of that's um, going to have to be chisel work. So I'm going to chisel that out, get down to that line as close as I dare. I'm going to leave, leave some of the line though because I want to be able to smooth it, sand it, which I'll have to do by hand probably. Good triangle. Um, so yes, let's, let's go that way. So, chiselling. I haven't done any chiselling for a while, but have chisels. So here we go, nice and sharp, I'm hoping. We've seen enough of this, right? So I will switch to time lapse again.
pretty pleased with that actually. Follows the line mostly. So now I'm going to transfer this. That's the top there. So I transfer this onto this one. And do the same again. And then it'll be almost assembly time. What time is it in real life? Real life, 11.47. Oh, nearly lunchtime. That's why I'm getting hungry. But I like that. And yeah, that'll fit on there nicely. Okay, so ear protection in, and I'll go and do another, another bit of uh, power saw. Power right there. Now a bit closer. Across there to start with. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to cut in there again so I can then chisel those pieces out. these bits out again. Come round. There we go. Okay, so look at that. <laughs> so back to chiseling, and then it'll be a case of matching them up as best I can, which I'll do when I by squeezing them together, and then doing that. So I'll go back to um, time lapse.
All right, we're getting close now. Oh, let's put that chisel away. Yikes. That chisel's got a nick in it. It's got a nick in the blade and it leaves a line. Anyway, I need to fix that, but not now. Um, nice. These, I'm really pleased with these. Need a little bit more work. Well, that goes against my rustic principles if I get it too nice. I think that's a that's been sanded to 120. There's still a lot of marks on it. So I'm going to continue to sand. And I'm probably going to sand those pieces too. Um, and, uh, and then it'll be assembly. And I think that will be the last video will be assembly. So I'm going to leave it there. That's the end of part three. So part four will be assembly of the boot rack. Um, and then I'll just deliver it down to my dad. He lives about an hour and a half away. Um, but yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm really pleased with these. And... Uh, I'm going to carry on for a bit longer. See you later. Bye.